Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Me Glow. Today I have for you guys is part three or just the third video of a Dollar Tree book haul. I found some really good books at Dollar Tree again and I had to come share it with you and also there's going to be a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end to find out all about the giveaway. But until then, sit back, relax, and continue watching. But if you're new here, go down below, subscribe, and also everyone, sometimes about this video, give me a like as well. But other that, let's get started with this video. So let's get started because we have seven books to get through today. So for book number one, this book is called Last Seen Alive and this is what the cover looks like and that is the author, Claire Douglas. So this book has 326 pages with an epilogue so you are going to get the beginning, the middle, and the end within this book and there is 43 chapters and this book will be considered a psychological suspense so that right there is already good for me. So I have everything what I want to say written down for this one, The Last Scene Alive. One woman is trapped in a death grip of the past and every one of its dark secrets. So there's Libby Hall, the main character that needs a vacation because she was suffering from a miscarriage and also saved a young child from a fire. So all that built up. And so this nice, nice couple, the Haywoods, wanted to exchange lifestyles with Libby and her husband, Jamie. But the Haywoods house has some surprises. There was a hidden surveillance equipment. There was a stranger in the garden who always watches them. Libby and Jamie and a makeshift operating room in the basement. When Jamie falls dangerously ill, all Libby wants to do was return to her home. It's a comfortable and perfect life that she had, but it was already too late. Libby has discovered the Haywood's biggest secret and when it appears that Jamie too is also hiding something from her. As the past comes crawling to the darkness, Libby fears she's walking into a trap. But who set this trap? And what do they want from her? And what is she willing to risk to make it out alive? So that is a last scene alive. And um, definitely a psychological suspense book. You can feel the suspense in this about me section of the book. And I think this is like really good. So this is the first book. Last Seen Alive. The next book it is called Breathless by Celeste Bradley and Suzanne Donovan. And this is what the book looks like. So this book right here has 377 pages with an epilogue and has 29 chapters. And this book is considered a enemies to lovers kind of romance type of book. So Breathless is about when a art professor, Brianna Anderson, is in danger of losing her past at Harvard. She discovered a new painting in the mysterious serene collection is discovered in the dusty old house in France. Brianna does the unthinkable. She hops on the plane to discover the identity of the woman within the painting and there's just one hitch. There's a frustrating, irritating, bold and beautiful art hunter. His name is Fetch Wilder and is also looking for the serene and he's been a thorn in Brianna's professional side for years but when their individual quest led them to team up despite being enemies but also they have become something more maybe possibly so that is what breathless is and I think it'd be a pretty good book so also pretty thick and yeah this is book number two this is book number three. This one's called Lizzie by Don Asu. Asu. Um, yeah, probably butchered that so bad. This book has 319 pages and has 38 chapters. So this book, Lizzie, is about a 17-year-old girl. Her name is Lizzie Borden and has never been kissed. She's polite but painfully shy. Lizzie prefers to stay in the kitchen where she can dream of becoming a chef and escape her reality. Just like... I skip my reality and when reading books. She met this girl. Her name is Bridget Sullivan. The two of them forged the bonds that quickly turned it into something that's maybe more than friendship. But when her parents try to restrain Lizzie from living the life she wants, it sparks something in her that she can't quite figure out. So, 
yes that sounds pretty interesting the cover looks pretty interesting which made me want to grab this book up and to show you guys this one this is book number three called Lizzie okay you guys buckle up for this one so this book is called Grace After Henry and the author is this right here I don't want to butcher that so that's the author and I really really like the cover it's pretty like basic and simple but something looks really cool about it this book right here the grace after Henry has 355 pages and has 58 chapters with an epilogue this book is considered a bittersweet story about love loss and second chances so the grace after Henry is about when grace sees her boyfriend Henry everywhere in the supermarket in the streets and even at the graveyard only Henry is dead leaving a huge hole in Grace's life and in her heart but when Henry turns up to fix the boiler one evening and Grace can't decide if she's hallucinating or suddenly developing psychic powers I wish girl I wish the man in front of her is not Henry at all but someone else who looks uncannily like him Grace becomes captivated by the stranger named Andy but to her he is Henry reminded of everything she once had can Grace recreate the loss with Andy resurrecting Henry in the process or does loving Andy mean letting Henry go so yes this one book number four sounds pretty pretty good I'm interested in seeing what all these pages are about and even more about Grace and her situation so yeah book number five this one is called August and everything after so this is what the book looks like and here are the authors so this book in particularly has 300 pages and has 45 chapters this book is also considered more of a contemporary coming-to-age romance so what is this book about August and everything after one last summer to escape to find herself to figure out what comes next graduation was supposed to be relief except Quinn can't avoid the rumors that plagued her throughout high school or all the well-intended questions about her college plans when her best friend is dead spending summer with her aunt on the Jersey Shore may just be the fresh start that Quinn needed and when she met Malcolm a musician who with his own haunted past she starts to believe in second chances can Quinn find love while finding herself is the question for this book I just bumped my chin with the book but this is a book number five the next book is this one right here this one is called closer okay and that is the author Stuart Lewis so this particular book has 285 pages and has 21 pages with an epilogue so yes we get all of the goodies within this book so let me tell you more about this book Ever since Tegan's father died while serving overseas, she became numb. She quit swim team and without her best friend around to distract her, the weight of her father's death feels like it all crushed her. Then one morning, random letters are circled on the cereal box, letters which spell a name. Tegan doesn't know what to make of it really, like who would, but she tracks it down to a boy only to witness him commit suicide. So Tegan is devastated, like who wouldn't be, but when she meets Edge, a friend of the dead boy, at least someone seems to understand what she's feeling. Except she sees another name and another name and there's like a pattern start forming of names. Um, so together Tegan and Edge is set out to find these people to save them from their fate with a real own purpose. Tegan is determined to save lives that summer just like her father used to but can she save herself as well? This sounds really interesting as well like like how is these names just popping up like who's giving her these names um it's like feels like some like top secret stuff going on but i know it's probably not but this book sounds really interesting and i just want to look closer within these pages <laughs> but yeah so this is the book number six a look closer
guys the last book that i'm going to talk to you guys about is this one right here this one is called speed of life by carol Watson. this is what the cover looks like lovely so this book in particular has 324 pages and the chapters are basically just the days of the month so i wasn't going to like count every chapter but it's the days of the month like see here we go august so about this book sophia lost her mother eight months ago and her friends were 100 percent there for her now it's a new year and they ready for sophia to move on but being a motherless daughter is hard to get used to especially when you're only 14 years old like any time would be that would just be really hard so people just need to chill okay but the problem is sophia can't bounce back she decided to write to an advanced columnist of this magazine called 15 and is surprised to receive a fast reply. Soon, the two are exchanging emails and then Sophia opens up and spills it all, including a few worries that are totally embarrassing. Turns out even advice columnists don't have the answers and one day Sophia learns the secret that flips her world upside down. Like, I want to know what was that secret was. Um, I'm kind of nosy about that. I want to know the secret. But this is the last book, and I think this one is really interesting, and I think you guys really, really would enjoy this. So before I get to the giveaway, my top three books within this book haul is definitely Last Seen Alive, the first book, and then Grace After Henry, definitely number two, and then number three, Look Closer, is my top three books of the seven. So for the giveaway, I'm going to give away three of these books that I'm showing you guys today. I'm going to pick three winners. Oh yes. And so all you have to do is go down below in the comments. Obviously, number one, tell me which book that you want. Or if you want a mystery choice where I just pick the book and I will send you one. Number two in the comment, since it's close to Halloween, tell me your favorite Halloween movie, cartoon, anything that does with Halloween, tell me your favorite part about it. And number three, obviously I need somewhere to contact you, so please tell me your Instagram so I can contact you and be able to give you your book of choice or your mystery book of choice that I will give you. So, if you want to enter down below just do those three things and i'll pick a winner within the week so please don't miss out on this giveaway if you want one of these books please comment down below other than that thank you so much for watching this book haul if you like this video give me a like down below if you're new here subscribe all that good stuff but other than that i'll catch you back next week with an awesome cool new video bye